Do you have an older laptop that's maybe a bit slow, but it's still good enough in, say, games if it's a gaming laptop, or still mostly fine for your general usage, but maybe you want to upgrade your storage or your RAM, or maybe even like this Acer Nitro 5, you might have even bought it without an SSD in, and you want to throw an SSD in to make it a little bit snappier in usage. In this video, we're going to show you how to upgrade your RAM and your SSD, at least for this Acer Nitro 5, although it is pretty similar across the board, so as long as you have a relatively modern laptop, you should have an M.2 SSD in there, or if not, Hopefully you have an M.2 slot in there to fill it in. If not, you can always replace the SATA hard drive, which we've actually done a video with Kingston on. If you want to check that out, I'll leave it in the cards up above. And of course, if you want to pick up any of the bits that I'm using here, whether that's the Corsair Value Select RAM or the Corsair MP300 SSD, you can check out links to both in the description down below. So let's get started and crack this open. The first thing we need to do is take off a couple of screws. Now this actually has an access plate for both the hard drive and the RAM, which is a nice easy start if you just want to upgrade either one of those two but because we're going for an M.2 SSD as well we have to take off the whole bottom cover so let me take off all these screws and then I'll get back to you. So in this case with the Acer Nitro 5 we actually have to remove the hard drive because it's attached to this top piece so we're going to take out a couple of screws here, lift out the hard drive, disconnect the SATA connector carefully and then we should be good to take this panel off and access the SSD. So now that we've got the top cover off and out of the way we can now take a look at swapping out the RAM and the SSD. Now the RAM is the first one we're going to tackle here, it's both are, are pretty simple but it's possibly the simpler one um, and we're replacing it with this, the Corsair Value Select, um, this is an 8 gig module, uh, it's only one DIMM, there's actually two slots available and two slots that are currently populated so by swapping one of these out uh, we're going to be adding an extra 8 gigabytes or an extra 4 gigabytes over the uh, 4 gig modules that are in here currently. You can of course go for extra or more than this, you could go with say two 8 gig modules or you can go with two 4 gigs if your existing one has say two 2 gigs for example uh, and while it's not the end of the world if you're replacing only one of them with uh, as I'm doing here and uh, getting a total of 12 gig rather than the existing 8 it is recommended that you replace both if you can. With that said actually getting at them is pretty simple you pull the clips out of the way and it lifts up and out and that's pretty much it. Installing is the exact opposite just make sure that the notch that is in the slot and in the uh, dim itself are lined up. You place it in, slot it in, kind of push it in a little bit and then push it down and it clicks in and that's it. It's literally that simple. Next up we're replacing the SSD. This one does require a screwdriver although only one little screw and it's right at the back here. It's quite a small head uh, but all you do is take that off and then the SSD will sort of ping upwards a little bit. Uh, you just pull it backwards out of the slot and that's it and then to replace it is uh, basically the exact same process but reverse so you push it in from the front and then hold it down and put your mini little screw in and then that is it, your upgrade is done. Now to put it all back together. So that is us sorted. We've now got our old SSD and RAM and of course you can reuse any storage that you take out but if you do plan on disposing of it, make sure that any storage uh, is wiped before you do. Your RAM is fine, it's uh, volatile memory so don't worry about that but any storage you take out, whether you're swapping out a hard drive or an older SSD or anything else, make sure that it's wiped before you get rid of it but otherwise that is kind of the upgrade. So as I mentioned, the process for each laptop will be different and so if you've got any questions about upgrading your own then feel free to leave those in the comments down below and either myself or the awesome members of the community here will do our best to help you out. If you want to check out either of the parts that I've used in this video then there's links in the description down below. I'll take you to your local Amazon store where you can see pricing when and where you watch this. You can also check out the rest of the links down there to support the channel and keep me making these videos on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday basis. Uh, stuff like Amazon and Overclock UK affiliate links which don't cost you anything to use but massively help me out when you do use them them. There's also a Patreon if you want to support me directly and get cool rewards for doing so. Uh, check out hoodies or t-shirts like this one or a load of other designs, private internet access which is a great and cheap VPN or Hubble Bundle which is a great way to get cheap games and support charities too. You can also check out that subscribe button if you're new to the channel with that bell notification icon and there are plenty of other videos over here including hopefully if, I, if I've remembered the original laptop upgrade guide for uh, upgrading your standard hard drive to an SSD if you don't have an M.2 slot in your laptop. 
lot, but otherwise that's kind of it. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to let me know what you think of the uh, the new style of the sort of overhead camera type things. Uh, and otherwise, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all in the next video.